Hey all, it's time for another edition of the Linux Man Cave, brought to you by the Linux Distro Community at www.linuxdistrocommunity.com. Please check us out, join the forums, ask questions, take a look at all the forums and all the neat stuff that we've got available to you. Today uh, I am going to do something a little bit different. I did uh, Samba shares yesterday, today I'm going to do NFS shares. So we're going to have to have a machine, that's our server, where we're going to be storing our files. And then usually it's our workstation, which becomes the client, where we're going to access those files. So there are a few applications that you're going to need to install, both on the client and server. We're going to need the NFS kernel server and NFS common on our server. And today my server is the family desktop, so we'll go ahead and install those. NFS dash kernel dash server and NFS dash common. And while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and install the install NFS common over here and get that ready. And as you can see, it's already starting the NFS kernel daemon over here on the server side, which is good. So now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to modify our, our exports file on the server. And I'm going to be exporting this directory, the home pictures directory. So we're going to um, as root nano the etc. exports file. And in here, you can already see I've got a couple and I'm going to add a new one and it's going to be home pictures and I'm going to export it to my machine which is 10.0.0.250 I'm going to give it read write ability I'm going to give it sync ability no subtree check subtree check no root squash Okay, so now that we've uh, we've created a a potential share, it just says if that machine asks for this folder, I'm going to go ahead and give it to them. So we can go ahead and save that now. And once you've modified an exports file, you must restart the NFS kernel server. So we're going to go etc. init.d slash NFS kernel server restart. Okay, so now our file is loaded. You will get this uh, scander etc. exports.d, no such file or directory. That's an okay error if you don't have a folder that has all of your shares set up in it and you're just modifying the exports file. That's fine. Usually only big companies are going to have a bunch of files in there that say share this here, share this wherever. Um, so that little error right there you can ignore. Now on my side, on my workstation side, I need to I'll, I need to add a mount statement. So currently I have nothing in my pictures folder, so I'm going to get out of it, and I'm going to uh, sudo nano, etc. fstab. And we'll come down here again, and there's where my Samba file share is, and I'm going to add another remark. And we're going to call this NFS share for pictures. And then this is a little bit different. It's going to go server name or server IP address. And in this case, uh, what is the IP address of this machine? Uh, the IP address is 10.0.0.245. So we're going to go 10.0.0.245 colon and then it's the home pictures folder and then I'm going to hit a tab remember there are six elements to each line in the FS tab the first one is the device the second one is the mount point home Chris pictures and then the type of file system NFS tab um, any options that we're going to give and we're going to give um, some specific options to file sizes 
Uh, NFS has the ability to transfer files a little bit faster than Samba, so we can actually specify the read size and the write size of the files that we view off of that drive. And then of course we're going to add uh, zero for the dump because we don't want to dump a remote file system and zero for the FS check because we don't need to do a, an FS check on a remote file system. So our line in our FS tab is complete. We can now save it. At this time we can now do the sudo mount a and we should have a mount and here is our mount right here. It says that we have mounted the home pictures share in the home Chris pictures folder. So now we should be able to go into pictures and we've got pictures in there. Look at that. So now that we can uh, should be able to uh, let's see if we can quickly view one here. I'm going to bring up my picture viewer graphics image viewer open anything from my pictures folder and there are all the full all the files that we've got from excellent so these are all the files that we're actually looking at on the machine family desktop and in the folder pictures well that's it that's another wonderful wonderful easy way to uh, manipulate files across your network of course uh, there are many other things that you can do you can you can definitely create multiple types of directories where you're going to actually store stuff um, and that's just how easy it is to do in Linux and that's another edition of the Linux Man Cave remember stop by uh, www.linuxdistrocommunity.com and sign up for the forums there you can also uh, hop into our IRC channel on freenode.net and thanks for watching make sure you comment and subscribe